the thing that threw me off at first was throwing it on these bars. Uh, the bolts here, which we tested it out with just some in, or Malone bars that we had out. Mm -hmm. So the spacing here, I don't know if you can tell there, but the way those bolts drop down, they kind of get pushed out. They're not quite wide enough for standard arrow bars, even okay. Malone arrow bar. So I think it'd be fine for square bars and round bars. Uh, but all the arrow bars that we've tested down here so far, which are Malone, NO, Rhino Rack, and Thule, they all push themselves out a little bit. Now, it's got a secure fit on there, but that's something I'm going to point out to the customers um, that it's fine. It just looks a little goofy. Gotcha. Uh, so there was that. With this particular setup today, uh, it is a little low, so there's not a lot of clearance with getting those knobs on there, but I mean, most people leave these bike racks on all the time, so they're really only doing it once, and it wasn't that big of an issue. We were able to do right. it fairly quickly. A um, couple other things I noted, or we, that we noticed were these cradles. Nothing is keeping them set. So they slide, which is nice for different wheelbases, but once they're set, they're like where we have it to here, they can still shift around like that. So that makes me really uncomfortable. Um, when we're going down the road. So I don't know, I don't really know what to do there. I guess we could maybe shift that up a little bit more so it's not on that. Um, where a lot of other ones are just kind of set. And that's where they are. And then just the back cradle kind of moves where that strap goes. Okay. Um, the strap here is pretty long. So I assume it fits some wider bikes as well. We've got a double background on itself. So. Okay. You think that that would be probably be a good thing to point out, like with a more narrow road type tire or wheel to double it up like that? Yeah, so you can see how much is left over with that. I didn't know if this was fat bike compatible or not. It's a pretty wide cradle, but I didn't know if that's just a standard cradle they put on all their bike racks or not. I think it, it looks to be a, a standard cradle, but it's supposed to fit um, fat tires, yeah, up to five inches wide. Oh, cool, so that explains the strap length and that. AJ pointed out how they have two spots here. It's the same thing on the opposite side here. So I guess you could run your strap there for those fat tires as well. Just give you a better fit. Right. Yeah. Um, same thing with the back cradle. It's the same way. One thing I don't like is that this is metal on metal back here. Uh, so it's definitely going to scratch your crossbar finish. Right. If you leave it on there or move it around or take it off. Uh, rubber coated though on the bottom side on that bracket, which is pretty standard with roof bike racks or any roof mounted accessory. Do you think with the, uh, because I, I know I'm looking at the, the wheel cradle or the wheel holder right now, um, and with those skinny tires or anything, you know, like how it's setting right in the middle, do you think there's any chance that the, those tires or wheels will, you know, shift back and forth or side to side because of how wide those wheel holders are? I think that it's down in a groove. Uh, it's fit, it fits in there pretty good. Okay. It's going to hold itself down. You'd have to be moving around pretty good to get that to bounce out of there. So I think that's fine. I would just be worried about the whole bike shifting front and back as you brake or accelerate hard. Right. Um, which it's only going to go so far back because of this, this end cap in the same way forward. But if you got yourself too loose with that hook, you've got an issue. Gotcha. And then the thing with the hook is it, it does lock, which is nice. Um, but that's how you secure it. So when it's unlocked, it just slides up and down. There's no like really catch in there. Right. So it's just smooth all the way up and down. So that's, I don't know. I wish it kind of flipped there, but that's, whatever but the thing that bothered me with my car here is a lot of the times when you break this down it just stops itself right there mm -hmm. but this goes all the way down it actually makes contact with my windshield so let that go and you're not paying attention because you're worried about holding on to your bike you might have some issues there so definitely gonna have to point that out in the video uh, but it holds itself up right now out of the box pretty good uh, but it's you know you use this a few times and that may get loosened up in that, in that housing. 
but the hook's nice outside of that. Um, you know, when, when you don't have to worry about catching on each one of those and ratcheting it down, I feel like you get an even tighter fit. So that tire is low, which we'll definitely have to address that in the uh, before we shoot the video. But um, that, see it, it holds itself in place, but it does go back up to that closest uh, notch in there. Gotcha. Do you? I know that you're you're taller. Do you foresee any issues with customers possibly getting the bike up onto the rack with the new design because of how that comes up, or do you think it'll be pretty much straightforward, kind of the same it was before? Yes, definitely. So I'm taller. This is you know a shorter car, and it's still with a carbon bike. I still kind of awkwardly had to get it up there. It's not that difficult. I think that it being a wheel mount though, that's the downside to that. So I was just chatting with a buddy about getting a roof bike rack and that was his thing was getting a wheel mount. You gotta get it all up there like that with the you know the fork mount. You got just it's not as much of a reach. So it's one of the downsides to roof bike racks, yeah. Yeah. I was thinking uh, somebody with uh, a bike with fat tires might have an issue trying to get it up onto the roof, you know, in the cradles, because it's going to take up the whole cradle. Um, yeah, yeah, anytime we've done roof fat tire bikes, it's it's not easy. I mean, because yeah. those, this bike rack, or this bike doesn't weigh much at all, and it's still, you know, you're still putting something up there. Uh, yeah. the, the fat bike is not easy to, to get up on a roof at all. Yeah, yeah, it would definitely make me nervous putting a fat bike uh, on this setup here. I think uh, I think the arm coming down would be really good to touch on, like you said, with the windshield coming into play, because it's not going to take much force depending on the temperature and things like that to crack that windshield. And if that wears out, you know, right now, probably fine, but let's just say you're getting that fat bike up there and you, know, you shift a little bit and you hit it, you're going to easily knock that down, especially with the weight of that bike. Right. But it can be done. It can absolutely be done, it seems like, but... You know, maybe they're better options if you're in the fat bike category. But right. standard road bike or mountain bike, you're going to have that. But if you're looking at roof bike racks, you're going to have this issue no matter which bike you go with. The fork mount's a little bit easier, but then you have, you know, have the issue of storing the wheel somewhere as well, which was why my friend decided to go with a wheel mount. He'd rather you know, struggle with getting it up there a little bit than have to throw his two different wheels in the back of his wife's small SUV. So. That's right. why he went that route. Right. I think he ended up getting the front loader from Yakima. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, that sounds right. All right. Yeah. Um, I Other than that, I didn't really have too many questions on this product. Okay. It was mostly just uh, curiosity on how easy it was, you know, to get the bike up there and then, you know, kind of just see it, you know, function because I, uh, I haven't had a chance to see this in person. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think it looks, I think it looks pretty good. I think it's, you know, it's holding the bike up there. Like, it shifts around a little bit, but you have that with most of the roof bike racks. Uh, I think everything feels pretty nice. I think it's just this, the cradle's not being held in place and this arm, those are the big, biggest downsides to it. Um, I wish we could put Malone bars on it today, but we, the balloon bars that we have are just for race side rails. Gotcha. But I think it'll be good to show it with, you know, it works with other brands as well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I agree. Well, I'll let you get to it. Uh, if you guys need anything uh, from me, just let me know. You know, I'm, I'm here all day, every day. So if you need awesome. anything, just, just reach out and let me know. All right. Sounds good. Appreciate that. All right, guys. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, have a good one. See you. All right. You too, buddy.